Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Everspace. Here in Sector 2, at the end of my ship's life it would seem the hull is very very low. You may remember me uh, getting to this position at the end of the last video. Now since the end of that last video, I believe... Oh, we're under attack, that made me jump. Let's see where we're getting here and I'll resume what it was I was about to say, assuming we can... Uh, Get these. They snuck up on me a little bit unexpectedly. Wasn't paying close enough attention, obviously. Right, and there we are. Now, since the end of the last video, uh, there has been an update released for the game. A fairly significant one, depending on how you look at it. I believe the... Uh, whole game was reworked and imported into Unreal Engine 4.16 which I'm not sure exactly what that does change but they say the developers say there's a whole number or a whole bunch even of under the hood changes there so maybe we'll get some performance improvements and as I'm flying around here I do notice I'm not getting any stuttering that I was getting previously you may remember me continuously pointing that out in the previous videos another update rather nice one if you find the game if you like to find your the graphics actually look a little bit better here don't they or is that just me beautiful visuals there I'm gonna quickly take a screenshot there yeah I know I'm getting very distracted with my conversation let's just take that or else another one there can't always help it with this game it just looks so darn nice Could have one more. Let's get the engine trails in there. There we go. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, aside from being imported into the latest version of the Unreal Engine, or one of the latest versions, another change is a hardcore mode. Now if the game's not difficult for enough for you already, then you're going to find it extremely difficult with the new update. It's something I'll be having a look at in another video. We're already through this run now, so I'm not going to be doing that just yet. And definitely, yes, there are some visual improvements here. Some fairly substantial ones. And finally, they've added HOTUS support to the game. So if you like your throttle and stick, then that is now fully supported. And you can customise your controls and use that as you want. Now, it's, I do have a throttle and stick. I've got a Warthog great great stick but it's not something I personally feel the need to use in Everspace here because it's a very very fast very very rapid effectively it is an arcade shooter so it's not really something I feel the need to uh, play with a HOTUS let's get repaired up here if we can nope and our inertia dampeners are still damaged and I'm really still loving the look of the visuals here Especially considering you can see down the bottom. Oh my goodness! If you're not paying attention and you hit a large astral object, yeah. Um, as I was saying, down the bottom we were getting a pretty much locked 60 FPS there, which is a nice improvement. It's how the game used to run for me up until the release or just before, and we started having a few problems there and it seems now that may have been fixed well I wasn't expecting to last too long anyway a bit of a, a unfortunate turnout really only getting that far through the that through far through the run the reason I'm hesitating there is I'm wondering whether to back out to the menu here and have a quick look at the new hardcore run but will it overwrite my existing progress no Hardcore mode offers a whole new challenge for veteran players. It is as tough as hard difficulty, but unlike in normal game mode, the starting conditions can't be improved. All hardcore runs will start out exactly the same with all blueprints available and certain pilot perks, but no ship perk upgrades. But no ship perks upgraded. Ship perks can then be upgraded at the end of each sector with credits earned during each turn. Hardcore mode also introduces a new, a nasty new surprise. When entering a new sector, a handicap 
must be selected, which will then be active throughout the whole sector. Well, that's rather interesting, and I think you'll probably have a bit of a laugh at me because, as you see, I sometimes struggled on normal mode. And I've never tried hard mode. So hardcore is going to be a little bit different. And listen to the hardcore music there. So, what do we got? Blueprints. Don't even know about this menu for some reason. First time I've actually seen it. And as it said, we haven't got any perks menu. So let's jump straight in it and see how long we last. Fully expecting to last a matter of minutes and maybe even a matter of seconds. So we got an Okar fighter straight on my towel. And yes, the Okar drones as well. Two of them, in fact. They seemed rather happy about that, didn't they? Oh, I was firing on it with the wrong weapon. That doesn't help, does it? Right, okay. So, very easily lost a little bit of shield there, but already I'm doing a bit better than I did on my previous run through on normal mode. For some reason, it was extremely difficult. Now, I don't know how it comes across in the video, but the fact I'm now getting a solid 60 frames a second makes the plan of this much more enjoyable. Hopefully it increases the viewing pleasure of the game as well. Of course I do render my videos in 60 frames per second and I upload them in this and for those of you that are wondering I do play the game in 21 by 9 I've got an ultra wide screen monitor and it used to distort a little bit off to the off to the left hand side and the right hand side of the menu and that seems to be a lot less pronounced now thankfully I'm sure it's still there a bit, but not quite as obvious as it once was. What have we got over there? Let's go towards the freighter wreck. Maybe there's something nice in there. So despite being on hardcore mode, the little drones only take one missile before they explode. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I've got to try and avoid the blooming asteroids here. Smashing myself up like I did previously. Not ideal. Anything else around here? It's looking all a little bit light, isn't it? Some more mineable ore, some scrap. Really love the wreck areas here. Something I'd love to see in other games as well. A little bit more detail in the environments. I appreciate it. The environments here, of course, are smaller than in some space games, but... I love the visuals. Right, the GMB fighters over there, they were involved in some combat with a red ship a moment ago and it seems they have got rid of that ship which saves me a job there's this asteroid right some mineable crystal in there so nothing too significant just yet but all these will of course add up and help me uh, with upgrades not that I do much in the way of upgrades. Let's have a look. I was hesitating again because this seems very new. Some damaged components inside the asteroid here. Again, very, very nice visual changes. In fact, Everspace all around has had some remarkable progress through its entire development. It's one of those games that started off in early access and unlike a few others, it did continue its development and it's had some nice, rather huge steps. Oh, look at that. Okar forces already inbound. So I assume that's one thing that Hardcore Mode has got going for it. That the Okar forces come along much quicker than they do uh, in other modes. Well, at least we got out of the first zone okay. Be interesting to see if I can make it to the end of the first sector though. 
So, uh, I did upgrade my ship. I don't know if that's taken effect here, but we can see the difficulty of the zones we're likely to jump into. Now, this is a high risk one. This is a medium risk one. Oh, it's actually a low risk one. How about for a bit of fun, we jump straight into the high risk one? Let's see what that's like. Let's get that drone, oh, excuse me. Let's get that drone out of the way straight away. Oh, we're already down on our shield. I'm not sure how much powerful these ships actually are. The defense. Oh, did he just did he just clip me? He was flying remarkably close by, and that's something they tend not to do. A little bit of frame rate drop there as we flow through the explosion. Right, we're, oh, I was about to say we're completely surrounded by uh, ships on all edges here, but I'm going to try and get rid of as many of them as I actually can before we... Yeah, look at that. I'm, see, I'm sure these guys are almost trying to ram me sometimes here, on some occasions. They certainly like flying very close to me, don't they? And where's the other one? Boom. Okay. Do we want the weapon overdrive? Again, it's something I keep forgetting to use. But yes, we will take that. Weapon overdrive is on the R key. So under the next uh, assault, the next time we get attacked, I'm going to try and remember to use the weapon overdrive. And the shield booster will probably be a nice thing to use as well, won't it? Going to be essential to use on oh, no, this mode. Oh, something coming up on me here. Oh no, they're coming straight out of the warp gates. And we're out of energy there. Let's let charge back up again for a moment. And they're out. I thought I used a shield booster there, but obviously I didn't. Maybe the shield was still fully charged and so it was not any good to actually use it at that particular moment. I'm trying to see what all these objects are around me here. Alright, got mineable crystal. No, where's that? Over here on the other side of the rock. You can't shoot through rock. Energy core extension. Why is it red? Oh, we don't really want to place the items here. Plus 22 energy, not that useful. Although I did run out of energy a moment ago, didn't I? But I'm certainly not going to give up a shield to have that. Oh, turrets inside an asteroid. That's certainly new. So as I was say, these uh, changes in the game really are very nice touches. These environments have continuously been improved, which is... Oh, it's rather nice. It's one of those things that really does keep me coming back to the game. All oh, these guys are fighting each other now, aren't they? Let's see if we can get in there while they're distracted. So the jump suppressor here is certainly well protected. Where's that coming from? Thought there was another ship attacking me there. Or maybe it was... Well I can't get out of here until the jump suppressor is actually hacked. 
and we got it fortunately right then let's get out of here shame because I'm obviously leaving quite some components behind there there was some containers there tech or otherwise I don't know but are we gonna make it just that got a little bit close didn't it so I guess the idea here then is that you've got to try and get explore the uh, zone as fast as possible and trying to collect as many objects as you actually can generally I take it at a much more leisurely place so that's something I'm not gonna be able to do while to plan on this particular game mode it would seem right, got a few missiles left and we're then going to have to... oh no, got a lot of fire here haven't we? Right, we're out of missiles. Can we build any more? Just four? Maybe it's enough? Who's that missile coming for? Certainly doesn't look like it's coming from me. I would hope not anyway. And did we get an assist there? Thank you, GMB and Light Fighter. Alright, let's pick up the items around here. And then I guess I'll have to not hang around quite so much as I normally do. And try and collect all these objects as fast as possible. Looks like a regular Gatling gun. Hope I've ever shot then. Shame it's not an <coughs> excuse me. Shame it's not an improvement over the one I've already got. All the credits though are most welcome. Five thousand credits already. So that's possibly something that's worth having here, going through hardcore mode simply to get all the credits but I doubt that they will carry across to the other game mode got to be a little bit careful there of friendly fire I think I managed to avoid doing that but only just I thought for a moment I'd clipped the other ship with the weapons fire there Right, another outlaw scout over there, but I'm busy collecting whatever it is I can collect around here. Fuel and credits, of course, are all good. Look at the little reflections from the explosions appearing on the ice asteroid there. I don't know if you actually got the opportunity to notice that. Probably mineable crystal again in there. I don't want mineable crystal, I want crates, but maybe, maybe we're not going to find any. Yeah, we will have the nanobots. Yes, please, we could do with some repairs. Probably not going to be too long until the... Ocar 40s start turning up. Oh. Again, we'll salvage that. Actually, a nano extractor probably would have been quite handy, wouldn't it? Salvage that before I really gave it any serious thought. So this should take us to the jump gate. Let's see how well it's actually protected. So only a medium risk here. Probably not going to hang around too long, but well, you never know. Interesting to see quite a diverse uh, mix of risk factors going through this zone, no, or this sector rather. Let's see what's going here. Right, plenty of ships around here. Looks like they're in conflict with each other. The Okar and the Outlaws are fighting each other. I think we'll keep well enough away from that. I'm actually curious. I'm going to go straight through the gate here because I'm curious to see what the new uh, handicap mode is actually like. I mean, we're not going to get to see that until we jump into the next sector. So rather than taking the risk here of getting myself completely destroyed, we're going to go straight to the second sector and we'll see what that new feature is all about. Oh, and now we can upgrade our ship. So this is where I spend the money. So this is becoming more and more roguelike in many ways, isn't it? A lot of features that I'm actually going to lose at the end of this run. 
primary weapon slots, secondary weapon slots, device slot, consumable slots, hull hit points, energy capacity. Let's put in in. You have nothing else we can select there. Let's put it in hull hit points then. Hopefully that was significant enough to be of some help. It's R to continue. Due to handicap for the next sector, option one sprung a leak. Fuel leaks from the fuel tank over time. Grounded. Every location has a jump suppressor. Oh dear, which one do we really want here? Let's go for that. We can always replace fuel, hopefully. If worst comes to worst, I'll try and take it from, from any GMB ships I see. Lovely lighting again. Oh, two drones. Can't select the other zone, the drone here. Oh, we're out of missiles, so we're also out of all luck. So that's the end of that run. Come to an end pretty quickly there. I think that's going to be a rather interesting challenge, isn't it? So I guess the credits there are basically for uh, statistic reasons only, just to let us know how well we've done or haven't done in this case, because we certainly can't spend any of those credits. Right. Whether or not I come back for another hardcore run will be depending on what you think of that. I think it's quite interesting to see a challenge like that. But in the next video, I'll be resuming my normal progress. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.